ugly starting location, but we can make it work if we head up top. But I want to see what I want to see before I do that is what am I facing? I'd like an eighth two-hander would be really nice. It's double necro. A lot of guys. Where are the necros though? I see the double possession, but where's the actual second necro? I don't see any blueberries either. So that at least is nice. There's the one back there with the little red beady eyes. Did you just get two possessions to begin with? Okay. I don't see the second necro. Am I just blind? South outside of Falcon Range over here. That's a good point. Okay, uh, let's go forward. I want. I kind of want these tiles here, and then a couple down here. Yeah, put Kex on the corner there with the weapon. The how wide do I want to go here? Do you want to keep a piercing weapon there? No. You don't need to be too wide there. Should let's go there. Here. And I'm gonna move forward to get the archer the better shots on the necros. Archer's pretty low accuracy. As my archers go, it's going to take them a while to kill them. Ridiculous as zombies. I guess I already waited half my turn, didn't I? Yeah. A lot of zombies. That would be annoying to fall in here on the side where I can't do any damage to it. Negative elevation, nice. Spaced. This would be there. Let's go like that for now, I think. Alright. Still no sign of blueberries. I guess there could be blueberries to the north with 31. There will be one guy who spawned north. I've never really seen I've never seen just one guys to this this stage in the game. It's always more than one. Alright, I'll try this necro first. Only at 28%. I have fucking bullseye, right? Alright, gonna be a while on that. up they can't push through these lines they have to go around so all 
Alright. guys here. A lot of fallen heroes. And I'm a little bit annoyed how long it's going to take me to kill these fucking necros. turns. Possibly kill him before he acts. It is. Bummer. So I can AoE it here. Especially now he's been knocked back in the turn order. over and over and over again with the fucking necros. Okay, it's not protected by a zombie anymore. Too, so he's going to be fairly accurate. Um, nothing I can really do here. Start shooting for these before we get uh, harassed over there. Oh, there's a nice protective tree there in a hole. They have to go all the way around. Never mind, we're good. Let's see what gets cleared out of the AoEs. Can I see this guy? Oh, he went around. 
through here. I'm like, how the fuck did he jump up two elevation levels? But that actually makes sense. Let's see where the zombies end up. Yeah, I'd just have been better off not moving from that tile. Don't like that positioning of the fallen hero. Also scary to have a flail there. the two-hander. And dreading that when my line gets pushed back by resurrections. This is currently blocking my archer from shooting. shots but I can get blocked there might be a better position like right there to do it I don't know if I get sight though and I don't want to move away from this one but we just missed two 75s in a row in this uh, necro kind of be nice if we kill him they were starting to get a full surround but they're starting to run out of zombies in the middle being open the zombies can move through there if I let them flail is gonna be annoying possessed flail I hate flails because they're so accurate well, I guess I don't have shields I guess they're not any more accurate than anything else there this feels like they're more accurate Chopping up the head does work only on the regular zombies. Uh, with versus the fallen heroes, they'll resurrect anyways. And with the necros in the play, they can resurrect fallen heroes with no head. And I think fallen heroes with no head will resurrect on their own as well. But only only on regular zombies does that prevent resurrection. See, like this shit's gonna be annoying. this guy four times now. I need him dead for my archer. That's <laughs> the third 75% miss. All right. Doing work, doing work. We'll get these, we'll get them sooner or later. <laughs> Necromancers can raise headless zombies. Is that true? Have we seen any headless zombies be raised? 
Certainly does no animation for a headless zombie being raised. I'm not sure if that's right or not. <laughs> yep, zombies will run out of armor because the armor does the armor damage does stay every time they raise. Their health health damage doesn't. That's a little bit annoying. is a big problem. Don't have a lot of damage over here to deal with that. I wonder if he'll chop through a shield if I taunt him. I'm gonna find out. Alright, 475, and it's a hit. Hey! Alright, the rate at which we're doing damage there, that did about a quarter of his health, so four more, three more of those, rather. Well, I'm dead in no time. Shots. What are the percentage to hit? 23 to hit. Alright. Alright. I don't know. I don't know how many zombie corpses are over here. It's tough to tell which ones lost the head and which one didn't. But we did just decapitate one over there, and I'm curious if it can be revived or not. I don't think it can. I might go help over there with Kex. If we get enough of a we don't have to worry about it. Coming closer, making the shots easier. Nice. Alright, we missed two fifty fives. Archers, what can't they do? Amazing stuff. Five oh, cubics. Just counter the necro with archers, you say? Maybe I'd kill this. 
95? 72. I've only got 10 arrows left. <laughs> Alright, another 55. I think I'm going to give up on killing Necromancers with this archer. I mean, this is we're leveling this archer, to be fair. He's not fully leveled. But fuck, is that painful. How, how poor he's doing at actually hitting anything. We have a, a worm sighting in this area, Cubix. That's what we're waiting on. <laughs> I've decided we're gonna bring all of our guys to level 25 via uh, one experience at a time from these zombies. I always trying to kill it with the archer. Uh, the goal generally with the archer is to kill it early in the fight. At this stage of the fight, I might as well just walk over and kill it for sure. Shooting that one now. Hey! Easy kill. How about now? Shoot this one as well. Two shots, two kills. Oh. Thought we were going for the dream. Dagger uphill into a wound. Five percenter. Fucking asshole. Why would he roll? I don't understand why they roll on puncture. That's just like a troll mechanic they do with that. Like, why wouldn't he roll on regular dagger? I know it's not going to do any damage, but it's a much higher hit percentage. So we should kill him with the archer. One that matters too.
Okay. So, long fight. Not a particularly hard one. Sometimes we may just take a fucking wound versus these, but, uh, alright. Uh, need to make some room. It's not that bad either. Do I have junk loot remaining in my inventory? Yeah. It's not worth shit. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Back to this area in a moment. I want to find that lin that lindworm today. Top priority. Kind of tempted to go to Summer's Home War right here, though. Just because I'd like to buy the experience boost. I think I can buy it there, right? Does it show up on that? I'm gonna have to go all the way south for that. Is the training hall a separate building then? Does it tell me? No, it says training hall. Is there a training hall in this city? No. So my only training halls are central cities like that? It's irritating. Not one there. Not one there. Damn. Oh, I still need to sell. Get stuff out of my inventory, re replenish tools, etc. Check the forest while we're here for linworms, I guess. And the rumor mill, see if we can get anything out of that, too. Alright, four missions and ambush trade routes. I'm buying at 22 and I have full inventory, that sounds fucking amazing. While we're here as well, see if they have a uh, have anything. Um, don't need strange mushrooms. I didn't know they're in my inventory. I would have got rid of them. Two days, three days, five days. Okay. Don't need two of these. I am considering holding one for the archer. How does it weigh compared to this eight stamina for now? Probably worth it. Uh, the rest of this looks okay, I think. I pick up this great axe, but I have it. I don't remember. Okay. Levels out of that. Level on cubics. HP or... S HP or... Uh Fatigue here. I think the fatigue roll is slightly more valuable. A high roll there. Let's take that. Level up on Sui. He's now level 21. More resolve than anybody. No level up there. Level up on Kalios. His health point's starting to creep up. Good. 